Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see on my face, we have a very beautiful halo eye, just some gold and some brown, some smoky and a wing and some lashes and a really pretty red lip just for Valentine's Day. This is just pretty much my take on a classic go-to Valentine's Day look, you know, just really natural really pretty eyes but still you know having a little bit of something going on up there and the classic red lip of course so if you guys want to know how i achieved this look just keep on watching i already primed my eyes with my photo focus eyeshadow primer the spy what and wild i really like it it's pretty good and it's cheap girls so you know might as well go and try it out so for today's shadow i'm gonna be using the anastasia soft glam palette i'm so in love with this palette and i honestly have not had a fair chance to like play with it and really dig into it a lot so i'm gonna be using it for this look today i'm gonna be starting off with a quick transition shade so i'm gonna be taking the shade orange soda right here and i'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out in my crease now to add in some depth i'm gonna go in with a burnt orange and just go over the crease taking a flat brush and the shade sienna i'm gonna go ahead and pack this in the inner and outer corner of my eye just to create kind of like a halo eye and a halo effect i haven't done a halo eye in a while so i'm actually excited now i'm gonna take a brush with more of a pointed tip to it dipping back in that shade sienna and i'm gonna blend this out in my crease with the other side of the flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and take Cypress Umber, this dark brown right here, and do the same thing I did with Sienna, putting it in the inner and outer corner. And again, blending things out with the same brush. Now taking a more fluffier brush, I'm going to go back in with Burnt Orange, and just blend things out above. And I'm also going to take this lighter brown called Rustic on that more pointed brush, and really go in lightly to the fuse where that dark brown is. Now for the shimmer in the center, I'm gonna be using the shade Glistening right here. This is actually one of the shades that broke cause I ordered this palette line and it came broken. These two were the ones that broke. I put them back together with alcohol. So hopefully, you know, the formula wasn't affected. Hopefully it's still as blinding. Whoa! And that looks very pigmented right there. So let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna... <gasps> Okay, yep, definitely formula is intact because my gosh, this, you guys, like, I just love Anastasia's shimmers and their mattes, everything, their shadows are so blendable, like, Anastasia shadows do not play, y'all, like, they are honestly one of my favorite formulas for eyeshadow because they're just that bomb, so I'm just gonna continue to like blend this i want to kind of like do like a shape kind of like a cut crease shape but just with the shimmer i'm actually gonna go ahead and wet my brush a little bit more with some more feet prep and set, which oh my gosh i'm like kind of like dying because the only three setting sprays i have here are ones that like they're like totally my favorite so i don't want to waste like any of them I have the Morphe Prep and Set. I have the, oh my gosh, what's the name? The Pixie Glow Mist that I tried last video and I love it. And then I have a little sample from Mac Fix Plus and the setting sprays, you guys. Like, they are honestly the most amazing setting sprays, like, that I've ever tried in my life. Like, Urban Decay, who, like, honestly, I, li I like them more than my Urban Decay All Nighter and my Urban Decay Chill. Honestly, those are really good setting sprays. I have nothing against them, but just honestly for the price like I Believe this was like $15 and this is so good for like a glowy mist This is $15 as well and just the mister like you guys know I love everything about this It's great and the max fix plus is just max fix plus and I just freaking love it so I just feel like those just cannot compare like urban decay just can't compare to the ones that i have right here sitting in front of me and i just love them so much so that's just my opinion honestly you guys comment your favorite setting spray down below like let me know what your favorite setting spray is because honestly i thought once you know i had my morphe prep and set like that was it like i was 
like that was it like that was my favorite of all time and i just didn't need any other setting spray but i stand corrected <laughs> because i love the pixie glow mist oh my gosh i love matte's fix plus like these are just like my top tier like setting sprays of all time so yeah oh that looks so sharp and pretty <gasps> so cute so cute okay i'm gonna go ahead and do some awake liner and apply some lashes and i'll be back i apply my lashes and now i'm waiting for them to dry i use the salon perfect 6 14s they remind me of the arda wispies but just like longer and just more lashes and just like really pretty and for foundation i'm using my maybelline fit me dewy and smooth and i'm gonna be mixing this with my kaplan d locket foundation so i just have it in my hand i have not done this in like such a long time like put foundation in my hand to apply it like girl it's been a minute and i'm just gonna focus this on my cheeks and my chin which is like the areas where like i have a lot of redness and my skin is recovering from breakouts and stuff and honestly you guys i am so freaking proud of my skin i'm so freaking proud of myself for keeping up with my skincare routine and just really committing to drinking water because i honestly have committed to drinking water and i'm so so happy and honestly i have a headache right now and i think it's because i haven't drank like a lot of water today which honestly like i love because now my body is getting used to you know not being dehydrated all the time and it tells me when i am which is super awesome because then i can just know oh i have a headache i don't get headaches so i must be dehydrated my body's asking me for water so i am so freaking happy that i have established that healthy habit obviously i'm still not like at the goal where i want to be i want to drink like half my weight in ounces of water right now i'm drinking about like a bottle and a half of water so if I'm not mistaken, half, yeah. So right now I'm drinking like a, a bottle and then like a half of water. Um, my goal would be to be drinking two for where I am right now, just two full bottles of water. And then my all time goal is to be drinking four. But that's just where I'm at right now. Obviously, you know, I'm not gonna start off like just drinking a gallon of water a day. That's something that I have to train my body to get used to. And you know, I just have to work my way up. So yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys um, and let you know that you guys can establish healthy habits. You just really have to focus and start small. Don't beat yourself up if, you know, your goal is to work out and you just worked out one time this week and your goal is to work out three times. So it definitely just build yourself up and it'll work up to your goal, you know? Like, you can do anything as long as, you know, you just commit to it. Um, don't beat yourself up for it. Don't quit too early, you know? And just really commit to it you know just be like okay i'm gonna work my way up to this because you know we have to realize that if our bodies aren't trained to do something obviously it's going to be hard to get to that goal that we want to reach or you know any other habit that you might want to reach it's going to be hard because you're not accustomed to that so just have a working your way up to that goal mindset because then if you just want to start let's say reading a chapter of a book a day or you know something like that and you don't like to read then don't expect that on your first day you're gonna read a whole chapter maybe you get through half the chapter maybe you get through five ten pages depending on how long the chapter is but just celebrate the small victories and realize that each and every day you're making progress and you know whether sooner or later if you keep on working towards it you're going to get to that habit and you're going to get to establish that goal and that healthy habit that you want to establish in your life and you're going to be happier and you're going to feel better about yourself once you do so just don't be too hard on yourself and just keep going you know keep going growing and glowing every single day just you know take it easy don't beat yourself up and just be at peace and know that hey maybe i don't have this habit established today but you know everything doesn't just happen you have to work your way up to it and just really keep that mindset of hey one day i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna be so glad that i didn't quit and that i didn't give up beforehand so yeah wow that was just kind of like a motivation one day right there so yay um yeah okay what am i gonna do now concealer i'm like lost this is actually a really good match i'm like so surprised you guys, I'm like about to run out of my Tarte Shape Tape and I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Because like, I love my Tarte Shape Tape. 
Oh, I really want to try the e.l.f. concealer. It's like, it literally is like this and has like the big doeful applicator. And I want to see if it has kind of like the same coverage of my star shape tube. So honestly, I feel like when I run out of this one, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself the e.l.f. one. And see how that one works out for me and get back to you guys and be like, hey, you want to do for the shape tape? This is a dupe or it's not a dupe. So, um, I'll just, honestly, I'll do that. Because I have been seeing the e.l.f. concealer like everywhere on YouTube and, you know. All that stuff so i'm excited to honestly try that one out also you guys i know that i'm so freaking late to the train of like the Too Faced, the new concealer like the um born this way the new concealer that they launched and oh my gosh you guys i want to try that one as well like so bad but i just i'm in love with my shape tube right now and honestly once it ends maybe i'll grab the elf one and the Too Faced one because wait how much is the Too Faced? is it 28 bucks so I'm pretty sure this was 20. Oh my gosh. But I feel like they do give you a bunch of products. How much product is in here? Um, this is 10 milli milliliters? 0.3381 fluid ounces. Oh yeah, and I do believe that the um, Born This Way one is one full ounce. So that's probably why the price is different. But yeah, so those are just concealers that I'm excited to try out. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes with my Airspun Translucent Powder. Where's my brush? I washed a couple of my brushes, so I'm glad. I'm just going to... Ooh, creases. Hello. I'm just going to blend that out first because I don't want any creases. And just start tapping some powder. It's very light. I'm not gonna start off baking or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and set first and then I'll build up to a bake for sure. But I just really wanna make sure that my eyes are set and that they're not creasing or anything. And then just packing a little bit more powder right over top. Oh my gosh, I need to bake my smile lines because you guys, like, I don't know what it is, but I laugh a lot, I smile a lot or something because. I always catch myself with smile lines. Like, I feel like that's the first thing that I see when I look at my makeup after a couple hours of wear is smile lines. And it's just, like, not cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Take that preventative measure. Because I've never done this before. So let's see if it helps me out. I look a little strange because my forehead is showing on. I like to have my bangs, like, more, like, down. But... Because of the makeup, I have to like, just kind of like, you know, not just have them like out of my face so that I can do my forehead makeup. I'm going to go ahead and bronze with my, what is it called? Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. Sun, sun Bronze? Sun, sun Bronze. I'm just going to take my big old bronzing brush. I don't really want to contour today. I just want to warm my skin up and add a little bit of their run bronzer so what are you guys doing for valentine's day let me know in the comments down below do you have a valentine do you not what are your plans like let me know <laughs> now for blush i kind of want something a little bit more corally orange tone so i'm gonna be using code james this color right here from my james charles morphe palette and very lightly because these are shadows and they come off very pigmented i'm gonna go ahead and just with a very light and very barely touching the skin go ahead and apply it then i'm gonna dig in very 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 lightly into apply one which is this neon orange color and tapping off the excess and focusing this mainly on the apples of my cheeks and now it is time to set all the powders so i'm gonna go in with my pixie glow mist give it a good shake and that just helps bring all the powders together so that you don't look cakey girl so now that we've sprayed our face it is time to highlight which indeed is my favorite time of my makeup application girl Right after setting spray, just a real good highlight. Oh, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. I honestly have not used this in a while, and I'm excited to dig back into it. Taking my Anastasia A23 brush. Oh my gosh, we're doing it right, Anastasia, Anastasia. Okay, 
dad, I don't know what color I want to take. I don't want to do too yellow because I'm not really tan right now. I'm actually going to go in with amber gold and the sun ray. I'm just going to mix the two. So I'm going to go ahead and mix amber gold with a little bit of sun ray. This is just kind of like a pinky highlight and this is more of like a yellow. And tapping off the excess, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And now that the highlighting is complete, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Morphe setting spray now. Oh my gosh, we're running out guys, no. <laughs> I ran out, oh my gosh, okay. I'm going to finish this side with a little bit of Fix Plus. You know, this highlight palette also doubles as a fan, which is great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do lower lash line because we kind of forgot about her. So let me go ahead and take a little small brush for my lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in with burnt orange and sienna. So first taking burnt orange and running that pretty much all over. Then taking sienna and running this in the outer corner up until the middle part, kind of like the middle part, blending it a little bit into the inner third of my lower lash line. And honestly, I'm just gonna leave the lower lash line like this. I'm just gonna leave it pretty soft and natural, if you will, because we are gonna go in with a red lip, so that's gonna be pretty bold. So now for a lip liner, I'm going to line my lips with Kylie's Leo lip liner. This is kind of like a really pretty deep red color. I also kind of contoured my lips, so I look pretty crazy right now. But hopefully it'll, you know, look cute at the end, create a little depth and something cute. So to fill that in, I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Balls. This is Lily Sings lipstick. And you guys... This formula is amazing. It really reminds me of the NYX Self Matte Lip Cream. And oh my gosh, like, it doesn't make your lips look wrinkly. It doesn't kind of like dry down to a very drying, dehydrating matte on your lip. And that's what I love. This is more kind of like a cream formula. So honestly, I'm in love with it. It feels really nice and velvety on the lips. And honestly, that's why I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot to line my waterline with some white liner. I've been obsessed with doing this lately because honestly, it opens up the eye so much. And it just makes your eyes look like doll, like doll eyes and so big. It's so freaking cute. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just opened things up so much. I need to curl my lashes because the glue is already dry so let me do that. This is the completed look and I am so so freaking in love with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this pretty much classic Valentine's Day look. I hope that you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Let me know what your plans are, what you're doing, how it went right down below in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a huge thumbs up and subscribe by clicking that red button down there anywhere. Also click the bell to get notified every single time I upload a video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Whoosh. Right? Oh, I was craving doing a freaking halo moment. Okay, bye.